It all started sometime in September this year when the managing director and chief executive officer of the Anambra Broadcasting Service, Mr. Chenwara, decided to package a befitting program for Ndi Anambra as a way of promoting relaxation and nightlife in the Oka capital city. Starting with auditioning of about 50 intending contestants, only 20 were selected to participate in the competition. And so, the journey for the Miss Independence continued with more than one week tour of sites and important places in the state, including the Obunike Cave, visits to the CBN, the ANSIPA, Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism, Deputy Governor's Office, among others. Worthy of mentioning is the fact that the girls represented various agendas of pillars of development of Governor Willie Obiano, as they explained in every outing. My name is Chiung Korita. I'm representing Agulu Lake. So I'm representing the four pillars of Chief Willy Obiano's administration. My name is Miss Linda Eze, and I'm representing uh, Aguleri Forest. Well, my name is Miss Grace Atwan Eber. I represent the lights of the nation. My name is Obaleze Ginika, and I'm representing oil and gas. On the D-Day, the hall of the Emma's house, the venue of the event, was filled to capacity with those who came to ease off with life's troubles and turbulences. The first of its kind, the program is, as no event of such has ever been organized in the history of Oka and the ABS. Those who were part of the event had a real good time as comedians after comedians, artists after artists, displayed their talents, including a popular Nollywood actor, Oke Bakasi, and a popular artist, Snoop Doggy. <laughs> You see full girl like this, now the hand now you see. <laughs> Let us be honest now, so I just talk so. How can you see any of these girls? Out of everything, wait day, now the hand you can't take. If they give you the hand, you will take. People know they talk to you. Everybody's for a reason. Because they don't point you well to go somebody's house looking father face. Say we just did pass, man. We see your daughter's chest. <laughs> so we are here to come and take her chest in marriage. <laughs> Back to the main event. The girl's first appearance at the stage was presentation of Anambra Anthem and dance display. We fall We pray and ask. I'm not 
their second outing differed as they cladded in their traditional attires and made presentation for the spectators to judge. <laughs> before they finally came out on evening dresses. At this juncture, the best 10 were selected, while awards were given to some who excelled in various ways. After that, the best 5 were also selected, out of which the winner, Ms. Chizobe Ejike, the first runner-up, Ms. Nkechinyere Christabel Okafo, and Ms. Chiamaka Basile, second runner-up, emerged. At events like this, speeches were made, and so, the Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Chief Tony Onyema, assessed the ABS, the events, and the contestants. ABS is a parastal of, uh, of the ministry and um, is part of the re-engineering process. Uh, the company is being uh, re-engineered to a media and entertainment uh, outfit. This is uh, the entertainment as, uh, aspect of it. There is more to come. You know, if an organization is moving from a broadcast organization to a media and entertainment company, you know what to expect. Yeah? You will be generating content and uh, giving entertainment products. The ABS boss, Mr. Uche Mora, was excited with success of the event. <laughs> I feel happy, I feel happy, you know, we put in a lot of hard work. Uh, we had to fly in uh, one door sir. You know, former Miss Nigeria, she helped us in the process. Uh, you know, it's been hard work, sleepless nights, you know, and the Ministry of Information, we are supportive, and the state government, the whole lot of people, sponsors, Airtel, Herobia, Kairos Electronics, Skybank, you know, a whole lot of them, you know, Three Point Hotel, you know, everybody, you know, so I'm happy, I'm happy. And I'm looking forward to a bigger, bolder, you know, season in 2015. You know, this is a learning process for us. I'm happy with the outcome this year, you know, so I'll just go home now and relax for a couple of days before we plan for the next project, yeah, because we had to work, you know, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. For the director of the event, a former Miss Nigeria, Miss Wando Kosa, she spoke like this. So, um, all you beautiful people of Anambra and the people who are visiting and all our big guys, I can't stop naming you one after the other, but... Thank you so much for being here. Directors of various departments in ABS were part of the event. My expectations are that the event to be planned. We have prepared very well. We are going to reap from the dividends of democracy. We are going to reap the dividends of hard work. Wow. Um, what are you wearing tonight? <laughs> well, well, party wear, kind of. Yeah. Something to it. 
the bit what we are doing today. How do you think today is going to be? Oh, it's going to be fun. Real we've come out here. It's going to be fun, and of course, uh, the the message today will linger for a very long while. That is wonderful to hear. Thank you very much. The queen of the day, Miss Chizoba, was very happy to have come tops among all. I feel, I feel happy, excited, above all. I don't know, I don't have words enough to explain my feelings right now. But I feel really excited to be wearing the crown. Mrs. Rita Ejike is the mother of Miss Independence. All works and no play, they say, makes Jack a dull boy. Maybe, just maybe, that was why the Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, hashed the idea. The Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism okayed it. And the result puts smiles on the faces of the people. Well done, Mother ABS. You've done noble. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. I am Ngozi Obileri, reporting for ABS News Plus. Hearts, we pray and I